Stability AI announced Stable Audio 2.0, and I wasn't really excited about it at first because there's a lot of music generators out there and they're getting pretty good. But this is the thing that caught my eye, audio to audio generation, and it allows you to use a prompt. So I looked at their website, their user guide, and it's kind of cool. There's This is a nice little video. I'll link to it in the description too. And there's some examples. So if you're a musician and you know how to play the piano, you can upload something you're playing on the piano like this. And then you can change the style of it by saying like vibraphone. Or you can say post-rock guitars. So it just, it's kind of cool. It's taking what you're giving it and changing it into different styles. But I'm not really a musician, as so you're gonna find out in a second. But this was the part that was really interesting to me. You can use your own vocals as an input source and, and create music from, from your humming or from your whistling. I think this could be really fun to score a video with, you know, to, to create a soundtrack. Because sometimes you're like, I'm looking for um, music that sounds like this, bum, 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 you know, and then you have to kind of find something that sounds like that. In this case, you'll actually be able to just make that noise and then add a prompt and then turn that into music. So let's see if we can actually make that work. So there is a free plan and I'm gonna be working off the free plan. I'm switching to the pro plan soon because I need to do another video comparison and I need more credits basically. So I'm gonna to go to the pro plan, but everything I'm doing today is gonna to be on the free plan. Now the, the main difference you'll see is that we have a monthly upload limit of three minutes. So I'm gonna show you how to make sure you don't over exceed that. And I've only got nine tracks left because I was working on a different project and I burned through a lot of my stable audio credits. So. Um, we're going to have to be very frugal in how we do this. All right, so I'm going to do um, add an audio. They're going to check the audio that you upload against copyrighted works. So you can't take like a song that you like and upload it and change it. I'm going to see how strict that is by taking a well-known melody and whistling it and see if it will check it against copyright. And if, if it is against copyright, it's gonna still count against your monthly allowance. So they're kind of saying like, if you try to upload things, we're gonna eat your credits up anyway, because you're not supposed to do that. Taking a risk here with some credits, but we'll make it work. Um, so we need MP3, WAV, MP4, or AIF. This is probably more important if you're a musician rather than if you're just humming and whistling, but um, they're not gonna, it says at least that they're not gonna take the audio that you upload and use it to train their models. So that might be really important if you're a musician and you're uploading some of your own original music. But in this case, I'm just literally whistling and humming to try and make soundtracks for videos that I've made. So I wanted something, like I, I wanted to test it against something that is sort of well known. So to me, it's Bittersweet Symphony. For other people, it's like a sample from a Rolling Stones song, but we all know it kind of sounds like this. Right, okay, I did terrible. But um, I'm gonna upload this and I wanna make sure that I'm not using a lot of my three minutes because it is like time. So what I'm gonna do is just like, I have all this extra time here at the beginning. I'm just gonna trim that out. And it's it's a, it's repeated, right? So I'm just gonna um, cut it and, and that way I'm only using, you know, around five seconds now rather than 13. So let's give this a shot. So I'm gonna make an MP3 of this and then I'm gonna upload it. And now I would add a, um, cinematic prompt and then input strength. So a lot of those um, from their user guide were like at 50 or 60. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I'm going to, I'm not going to stick with the default 75. I'm going to kind of move it back to like maybe 60. How about, and it's two, two songs. I'm not sure why it's two songs. I can generate longer things with stable audio, but because the audio that I uploaded is only five seconds, it's just gonna do that five seconds. So it's not gonna take that five seconds and spin it out into a song. The way if you just used a prompt, you could do a, you know, a really long song. In this case, it's just gonna convert the actual audio file that I have. It's not gonna use that to build a longer song, if that makes sense. All right, so let's see what it does. Um, I'm just gonna say cinematic symphonic soundtrack. It's gonna use two, I'm gonna really burn through these quickly. Okay, so let's 60% input strength, let's go. Right, let's hear how that one turned out. I mean, it doesn't sound like Bittersweet Symphony, but it probably sounds like my whistle because I'm definitely not on key. So, all right, let's remove that input audio. Let's do a new one. I wanna try, I haven't tried this record yet. Let's try that, whoa. What is going on here? So here's a cyberpunk video I did a while ago and I wanna create a new like synthwave soundtrack for that. 
Um, and I, I really don't have anything in mind, but I'm just going to pretend like I do if I were actually trying to score this. Um, so it kind of starts like this. So, um, so we're going to use this record option here, and I'm going to have my video over here, and I'm just going to um, start recording, and then I'm going to click play. Wait, hang on. I have to redo that because I can't talk and do it at the same time because then my voice is going to be there. All right, I'm going to discard, and I'm going to do it quietly this time. So you're, <laughs> you're just going to watch me do it. All right, <laughs> that was totally ridiculous, but um, let's see how this turns out. So one thing that would be nice about this is if I could trim or edit it here. I'm going to upload that. So I can't really, I can't really edit where, how much of that I want to use. So I'm going to go back to doing like a 60% input strength. I should say like 55 this time. Synth wave movie soundtrack. And it's going to do 18 seconds again. And we're going to generate. I have two things here. I have my history. This is everything that I've generated with stable audio. And this is my upload. So this is, this is where I can find my original thing. So if I said, I want to do that whistle again, I could go back and I could click there and I could start all over again with the whistle. Um, I'm not going to do that, but that's where you would um, update it. All right, and our Synthwave Cyberpunk movie soundtrack is going. I don't know. That, that one wasn't as... I didn't love that, to be honest. So I didn't like that one. So I'm going to go here to my uploads. Then I'm going to click here. And this time, I'm going to have that input strength at more like 75%. All right, let's put some more words in the prompt too, and then we'll change the input strength to be a little bit higher. And I'm going to use up almost all of my credits here. I mean, that's not great, but to be honest, my input audio was pretty terrible too. All right, so now let's try something different. I generated some audio in full journey for this like highlight reel of Laura images of myself. So this is me in different cinematic modes. So there's a tutorial on that in the description. Um, but basically, I generated some audio for that in full journey as well. So what I'm gonna do is just export this as an MP3 and then try to improve upon the soundtrack and give it different styles and play with it. But I'm running out of credit, so I probably can only do that once so let's see this so this is taking not a voice but actual music that can be improved upon let's see how that works so first I have to export this as an mp3 I'm going to upload so because I'm on the free plan I can only do a 30 second duration so even though my video is 35 seconds it crops the upload to 30 seconds so I'm going to use this and then I'm going to use their prompt library too so I'm going to click in here and let's do um, chill hop. Let's see, and you can listen to what that sounds like. Or there's calm. I'm a big trip hop fan, so. So I kind of like warm because I want to I wanna warm it up a bit. So let's actually choose, choose that. So I'm going to click here. And <laughs> this is the stuff that it puts in there. Warm, soft hug, comfort, low synths, twinkle. So. When you use their prompt library, you can just click on here and it'll add things in there. I'm curious if it will always use the same one. Yeah, it looks like it does, sort of. Yeah, so let's, let's choose warm. And we're going to choose the prompt strength that, um, let's put it back down to like 60, or the input strength. Let's move the input strength down to 65%. Um, we're going to do full 30 seconds here and let's generate it. So compare that to the other one. So this is what they sound like. So In my opinion, it did warm it up a bit. In terms of being able to just whistle or hum and create a soundtrack from that, and then you could probably take that. Oh, this is what I'm going to do. So I took an audio file of me humming and recorded this file. I am going to download this and I'm going to upload it. 
So now I'm uploading this song as an input audio. Based on the other one, I can use the generated audio now to create something even better. So we're going from voice to generated music to even hopefully better generated music. So I think you just got to play around with it a lot, you know? I see a lot of potential for like, you know, scoring a short movie that you've made or for scoring like a trailer that you've done with just your, if you're like me, terrible music ability. All right, and cue the outro music now. I've got another video coming out in a little bit um, about Stable Audio 2. So if you like this sort of thing or if you just like tutorials about AI video in general, then be sure you subscribe.